th they could have come out two different ways today. They could have come out flat with all the, the conversation and the disruption with their staff and, and some really down times over the past 10 days with this team, or they could have got behind their senior leadership and the coaches that are on this staff and come back and played inspired football, and it's the latter. Run it here to the near side. You know, they had such high hopes, Mark and John. You know, the goal was always win the Mountain West. They broke every huddle with Coach Wells, win the Mountain West, and then to lose at Boise and have that dream go away and then lose your head coach. How would they react? Here's a long pass over the shoulder and just a hair too long for Jordan Nathan. They're up 28-7 and not satisfied with 9.05 to play in the second quarter. A lot of football still to play here. But there's only one way that Utah State knows how to play yeah. offense, and that's with tempo, and they keep the pressure on you downfield. Well, the Utah State team has answered the bell so far today, despite all the tempestuous atmosphere around their program and coaching staff in recent weeks. He's got a couple of steps. Jalen Green, he's gone. Touchdown Aggies. Right now, Utah State cannot be stopped. 67-yard pass play from Love to Jalen Green. This is way too easy, but you have to credit outside it's just a go route. I, I think the corner felt like he had safety help over the top in Taylor Robinson. Robinson never gets off the hash. The corner allows Jalen Green to get by that flat coverage and then it's just speed and accuracy down the field. Jordan Love's having one heck of a day and those receivers, everybody seems like they're catching big plays. Six touchdown catch for Jalen Green and the point after makes it 35-7. We still have just under nine minutes to play in the first half, and the Utah State offense behind Jordan Love has found its stride. They are up big here in Albuquerque.